Hey folks, and we're back, and uh, hey, we're going to be cooking. We're, if you if you looked at the description, you saw we're doing potato rosettes. That, that don't make any sense. I saw this on the internet. A guy took uh, like a, a muffin tin like this and stacked up uh, some sliced potatoes in there and then just cooked it. And uh, it, it kind of curled up and looked a little bit like a rosette. So I thought it was kind of cool. And, uh, you know, it gets to use some other tools here where you, we're using a... I call this thing a guillotine. Uh, I don't know, it's got another name to it, but you gotta be very careful with safety first of these. I'm using the safety holder with my potato and we're just slicing them just like that, nice and easy. Uh, you can see the slices are coming out and they're about a sixteenth of an inch thick. Really, really nice here. So we'll season them. We'll show you how we're gonna season those up and we'll be right back to show you that. All right, let's season these suckers up here. Uh, we've got just some uh, coarse sea salt here, a whole bunch of that in there. And put some uh, crushed uh, black pepper in there. You know, you can put probably whatever you wanted in there as far as seasonings are concerned. Um, so, you know, let me finish seasoning these up and we'll show you the next step. All right, folks, for the next step, I've got some butter. I mel melted down. Uh, uh, one stick of butter, and we're just going to pour that over it. Like that. And then uh, you just want to take your hands in there and uh, get everything mixed up in the butter. You want to make sure to you get your potatoes apart there. They like to stick together. So it's important you get the butter and your seasoning on everything. If you feel like you need to add a little bit more seasoning, you know, stop and add a little bit more seasoning. That's about it. Let me get my hands washed up there and we'll go to the next step. All right, so we've got our muffin pan here and you can see we're just stacking them in there. Uh, try and save some of like the thinner ones for like your top pieces that it'll curl up a little bit to look more like a, you know, a rose or something like that. Uh, this is really super simple to do. And uh, we're gonna try, you can do this in the oven, like put it at like 400 in the oven. Uh, what we're going to do here today is we are going to be cooking on the Vision Ceramic and we're going to be using the Vortex and uh, we'll put these in direct, nice and hot in the, uh, in the grill and uh, let these go until, until they're pork tender. How's that sound? So I just want to put some of these thinner ones, smaller ones up on the top. Don't have to be pretty. We are going to be eating them. so. Doesn't matter, and that's pretty good. All right, one more there, and we'll finish this up and uh, give you a look see when we're down at the grill level. Well, hey folks, and hey, there's our chicken wings looking mighty nice there. Uh, we're gonna be breading these today, and I, I've got this idea from my uh, oldest son who lives up in Minnesota. He said, hey, try this frying magic stuff. He said it really makes for crispy chicken on the grill. So we're going to try this. I did take some of it here, and I did uh, put a little bit of seasoning in there. I got some nature seasoning. I got some of the big dicks in there, big kahuna in there, a little bit of lorries, and a little bit of cracked pepper. Um, you can see we've got four eggs there, and we're just going to, real simply here, we're just going to take our uh, chicken Put it in there, let it, let it drip off a little bit. You don't have to have all that uh, egg wash on there. And then just uh, just bread it. You know, it's, you don't want to get it on there, you know, really thick. You want to get everything, more or less, get the uh, all little nooks and crannies and such. And, uh, yeah, there you go. Let's do another one here. Let it, uh, we're going to be cooking these with the potatoes today on the Vision Ceramic. And uh, we're going to be using the Vortex, doing them indirect. Uh, we'll put the potatoes on first, and then, uh, and then the chicken here. Should turn out great. Really looking forward to this. It's a really easy thing to do. You could do this, uh, you could do this on a Weber if you had a Weber. Uh, you could do this, uh, anything that you could do indirect. Um, it would turn out great. You could do this in the oven if you wanted to, but that takes all the fun out of grilling. So I'm going to wash my hands. I'm going to finish doing the rest of these, and uh, we will see you at the grill. All right, folks. Hey, there we are at the grill. Um, you can see we got the uh, Vision Ceramic 
We're right around 400 degrees. It's been like that for about an hour now, so let's take a look. Got some nice smoke coming out of there. I got uh, lump charcoal, and then I put a little Kingsford uh, hickory in there also. So let's take a quick look here. Smoke to clear, and uh, oh yeah, wings and potatoes looking pretty nice. Uh, the potatoes aren't really looking like rosettes, but I'm sure they're going to be delicious in that butter. And uh, we'll show you these when they are plated up. And as always, folks, you know, get a lot of these ideas from a website called Let's talk barbecue.com. And if you have not gone on let's talk barbecue.com, I don't, I don't know what's going on, but take a look at it. I'll tell you what, if you're in the grilling, this is the place to be. And uh, we will show you these when we plate it up. Well, hey, folks, they are all plated up potatoes and wings looking mighty nice. And uh, tell you what, turned out very nice. And I hope you give this a shot. And as always, folks, really appreciate you watching. Thank you.